north and west from Reykjavik to the Schneefersnes Peninsula, where I was met by the local mayor. Most people have the opinion that uh, we are sharing this world with some other creatures. This seemed unusual. I decided to check with the university. We have trolls, few reports of people that have seen trolls and two reports of people that have communicated with trolls, recent reports. There are dwarves, gnomes, light fairies. They use the stones. <laughs> it's, it's strange. The peninsula in the west of Iceland is widely believed to be the most magical place in the country. It's said to be a spot of enormous positive energy, but evil things happen here too. Iceland's only ever serial killer murdered 18 people near here in the 1850s with an ice pick. He's widely attributed with coining the phrase, do you mind if I pick your brains? This is also a top spot for historians. Just along the coast from here is Iceland's oldest concrete church, built in 1903. There are only about a quarter of a million people in the whole of Iceland, and 97% of them are Lutheran Christian. But it's a bit more complicated than that, as you find out if you listen to their hymns. Most people in Iceland believe in elves or hidden people. They're said to inhabit a parallel dimension to the human world and can only be seen by certain people. It occurred to me that if there are elves, this is exactly where you'd expect to find them. Even the dustbin men looked like Santa's helpers. But I soon realised that I wasn't taking the Icelanders' beliefs seriously enough. They're rooted deep in the collective psyche and are driven by a passion for their otherworldly landscape. The elves are believed to inhabit certain rocks known as elf stones. The stones and other elf-related matters are the subject of a special research department at the University of Reykjavik. Well, we have the Elf School and the Elf Research Institute here in Reykjavik. Uh, we gather stories of people's experience, of those who have seen the elves and hidden people and trolls and, and other invisible beings that seems to live here. So far we know there are two nations living in Iceland. The Icelandic nation that has 270,000 inhabitants, which everybody knows. And then there's one invisible nation that is called the Hidden People. They have totally the same size. People usually have to have psychic ability to see them. I went to meet a man who claimed to have encountered an elf weeping outside his house. He seemed quite positive about what he'd seen. It was three years ago. Uh -huh. They were building, building this house and uh, there was a rock under the ground. Right. There was they were throwing the rocks away? Yes. Moving them away? Yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, I saw a young woman. She was sitting there and she was crying. And I asked her why she was crying. And she told me, she told me she lives there, lives here. Yeah. And people was building. It's too close. Too close to yes, her home? Yes, yes, yes. To her home. Yeah. And she was not happy. And I said to her, I help you. I talked to the people in, in, this, in, in this village here. Yeah. To not build a house on this place. 
his appeal was taken seriously by the local planning department. The house which was going to be built right, right to, the, to the stone, it was moved slightly. No big harm. <laughs> when there are stones, when they are planning roads, then psychic people say that in this particular rock is hidden people or elves living. Then they always move the road. So the house which is going to be built on the right side of the stone, it's number 77, the stone has the number 79, and the house on the left is going to be number 81. So people are going to have good neighbors there. If you harm these people in their homes, the cost of all constructions there double or triple. So everybody moves the road, the bridges, whatever the constructions are. And now there's not house here. And who, who do you think it was? Who was the girl? A spirit person? Yeah. Yes. Yes. You, elf, do you say elf? Yes, yeah. elf, yes. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah? There's elf everywhere here. Really? Yes, over there, in this hills here. We are here and they are here too. <laughs> and at, the same, at the same time? Yes, everybody is, is, is happy. <laughs> no one I met felt threatened by the presence of the elves. On the contrary, it seemed a cause for rejoicing. Iceland may be a remote island in a cold, deep sea, but these are modern, educated, internet kind of people for whom the spirit dimension is just a fact of life. And even those who don't profess to believe seem reluctant to say it isn't true. But well, there's no reason not to believe. No, no reason not to believe. Why reject things you don't know? Because if you do, you are in trouble. A few months after I moved to this Paris as a minister, a young man uh, came to me and uh, the story he had to tell me was uh, he had been fishing in his boat and he bound the boat to the stone. People here in this, uh, this uh, village had um, warned him. Two weeks later, his wife fell and broke her arm. And, and that was, was not all because uh, three weeks later, the house was on fire. I told him, I am not used to speak to owls in, 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 in stones. And uh, I went to the stone and I prayed for them. And, and it stopped. That's all I have to, to tell you about this. Sometimes when these psychic humans come to the rocks where they live, they don't see the rock, they see house just normal house. Uh, people come out there and talk with them, have a chat. And I have asked them, we've asked them, why do you live usually in rocks? And there was a strange answer we got. They, they claimed that there is more stable energy in big, solid lava rock stones. And the bigger the stones are, the better. And the older the rock is, the better. The rock and the house is the same name. Elf rock. Elf rock. Yes. The rock and the house. I've been studying this for 13 years, and today there is no doubt at all in my mind that the hidden people nations does exist, and all of these invisible beings, they live here in other dimensions. Under certain circumstances, humans can go into these dimensions. When the Vikings came and killed nearly everybody here, raped people, took them in slavery, or simply murdered them, there was such a deep friendship between the humans then, the Irish peasants, and the hidden people that were here, that the hidden people took majority of the peasants into their world, and they never came back. The people that live here on this area, and around the glacier, they are very happy. Maybe we live with good people. We live with aliens. We live with elves and, and gods.